Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to keep uh, Lambda warm with ELB health checks and uh, microprofile app. So let's do this. Um, I would like to use the Quarkus Lambda CDK template from my GitHub account. So, um, and let's call the project warm LB. And it opens, as always, uh, two projects one stock microprofile application. What we will have to do to change the format to um, REST API gateway. So uh, for ELB, you have to use the REST API gateway. So let's do this. So I would like to activate the REST API gateway extension. So now it's active. Uh, yeah, do always, always. Okay. Um, we have it. And what I would also like to do is I would like to add an uh, extension, and this is the microprofile health exten uh, extension. So let's Morai Health. This is our microprofile, and um, this is just um, one Quarkus Smorai he Health extension. And I would like to implement the health check. So this is a stock um, JaxOS application, microprofile JaxOS, and I would like to add additional component or endpoint. Call it um, health. And this is going to be in boundary. Um, so let's call it probes uh, or probe Java. And uh, this has to implement implement a health health check. This is true. And I have to implement or add the method and return health check response up and call it um, Quarkus Lambda. And this is basically it. And in addition to that, uh, I have to make it a managed bean with application scoped and say I'm. Uh, it should be a, a readiness probe. Um, OK, so um, it's somehow strange that um, we are exposing a, a health check for an AWS Lambda, but you will see in, sec uh, in a second what, what actually happens um, or w what will happen. So um, I would like to um, add the uh, logger here. The system logger log equals uh, system get logger and now call it health. And why this? Because I would like to see the outputs uh, log info. Oh, sorry, um, log and the level is info. And the message is uh, re uh, health health check requested. So this is the log statement. Um, it should work. What? Yeah, this is what sometimes happens. I'm using the Java Lang system logger and it imported the Java util logger. So we have two loggers in Java. So let's do this one. Okay, this basically it. Um, I think this project is ready. And this is just a stock microprofile application with a little bit injection. And now an health check comes with two endpoints. Um, let's try it locally with it actually working. So um, uh, may, uh, Maven compile Quarkus and Dev, and it starts the app hopefully. So this was successful, and now I could try to call the endpoint with Q for Quarkus and health for the health check. So and the endpoint is so Quarkus Lambda. So the um, Lambda is up and running. So uh, this worked. So now take a look at the deployment. So I would like to switch to the CDK part. And this is here, CDK. And uh, maybe we can make it smaller like this. And um, so what we have here, um, I would like to focus on, on the ELB part today. So um, just comment this out. And I would like to use the Lambda ELB stack. OK, so what happens here is um, we have here already an active health check. So what I would like to do is I would actually use the path here. And the path was Q and uh, health. So this is the um, application load balancer health check. And um, what I also would like to do is to um, to repeat the health check or first set the timeout. I, th I think um, 10 seconds are more than enough to start in uh, AWS Lambda. Um, with Java, even a cold one. So this is, um, and I think I have to use the duration here. 
duration and this is uh, seconds let's see 10 seconds and uh, what I also need is we need interval and the interval has to be uh, longer than the timeout so uh, seconds let's say every 15 seconds uh, the uh, ELB will check the um, the uh, whether the uh, lambda is alive or not and when it will check this, it will, of course, keep the lambda alive as well. Um, what's also interesting here is if we go to our stack, you will um, we have two availability zones. It is defined in the public VPC, so we have two availability zones. Um, you will see what happens in the logs in a moment. So let's deploy the application. And the first deployment, very first deployment, take roughly four minutes. Um, so the application load balancer, installation of provisioning of application load balancer takes uh, a few minutes. Subsequent deployments are faster, usually under a minute. So um, the account is, uh, this is my account and there's only one test Lambda, but uh, yeah, let's see what happens. So the application is deployed. It took roughly four minutes. Um, I would like to test it, whether it's actually working. So um, we use the generated curl command and uh, the Lambda responds immediately. So as you can see, um, there is no delay. And uh, what I also like to do to check what about, um, or to check, to call the health check is also working. So now let's see what happens here. So our Lambda is deployed. So this is uh, the greetings Lambda. And uh, let's take a look at the uh, monitor. Maybe there's already some data here. Yeah, the data is available. And um, so uh, there is this the amount of um, invocations. But what I actually wanted to do is to go to CloudWatch, check out the log group. And this is now the time from now. This is the recent log. And uh, I think it was health, right? Health. Or build. So what we see is uh, we have uh, or two cold starts and everything else is uh, fairly fast. So it's like four milliseconds and um, requested, I think, requested. Exactly. And this is the health check. And with the health check requested, this is what um, with the input. And if you take a look at this, you will see that uh, it is executed roughly every 10 seconds twice. Right, so there is, um, uh, this is once, and this is another, so roughly twice, because we have two subnets and the ELB emits uh, two, uh, two requests to our lambdas, um, which doesn't matter in our case, but um, our lambda stays warm because it is pulled by a load balancer. What we could also do, of course, we could um, ask our backends uh, whether they are ready or not and, and implement a proper health check. But what we did right now, we misused the health check, the readiness probe to keep the Lambda warm. So thank you for watching. See you at upcoming conferences, projects, or even AHEX Live workshops, uh, online workshops. Thank you and bye.